I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. like this that everybody's been talking about it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one well there's one fighter here as we've seen time and time again that just doesn't have the physicality he doesn't have the overall strength against his opponent but what does he have well he has the greatest muscle that the human body has the brain muscle use it be smart give angles get out Keep your opponent off balance. If he's bigger and stronger, he needs a certain kind of set position to use that. Do not give that to him. Able to dismiss it. Fires right back at him. Parries that punch away. with a nice looking counter punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Eddie Chambers. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. You can sense it right away, Teddy. Looks like it's a tactical bout tonight. Well, that's what happens when you get two counter punches. Nobody wants to lead. It's been a recent trend, Teddy, where we've seen in the heavyweight division a lot of Eastern Europeans dominating. Why do you think that is? Same thing in basketball. I don't think they're the better athletes, but you know what? There's an urgency. There's a real hunger. This is their opportunity. The fighters over here and the basketball players for that part, they have too many options here. Over there, they make the most of it. And fundamentally, they're very sound. Good block there by bad intentions. Lands the counter. Whatever game plan and strategy they may have come in with, Teddy, they may have just thrown it out the window. They're trading blows nonstop in the round one. Everything's been thrown out the window. Everything in the room is going out the window, and we love it. Oh! Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Hey, hey, no holding, no holding. Come on, punch it out. He just missed that shot up top. Excellent counter punch by bad intentions. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Eddie Chambers with a nice-looking counter punch. Tensions. 
bad intentions is now showing us something that could have a great impact on this fight, Teddy, and that's his ability to counter. Yeah, he's mixing it up a little bit. We know he can lead, we know he can get off first, but now this dimension serving him well. Eddie Chambers, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good job protecting himself. Eddie Chambers' his offense has nearly left the building, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier. He got tagged. Now he's got to find a way to be defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's got to reconnect the offense before it's too late. remaining in this round. Nice block by bad intentions. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fight is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Good block by bad intentions. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Scoring well with the right hands. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Gets rid of that body shot. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. 
bad intentions is having a field day against his opponent. Now, if you're standing opposite him, you got to solve this, or else it's just going to snowball. It's going to go downhill quick. You're going to lose this fight. No, you do, Joe. The conventional way, the standard way that everyone's used to seeing with a tall guy that's keeping range like this is you work your way in. But there's another way, too. Maybe you step out and you get him to give up his height, his range, and fight him in a little bit. And then all of a sudden, bang, you slam the trap on him. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Nice block. Beautiful game plan there. Out from range and into the power. Just the way he and his trainer drew it up on the chalkboard. Good return fire that time. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back under him. Wow, is he defensively sound. Good-looking counterpunch. Bad intentions is strategy. Oh, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Fast Eddie with a good block. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> A nice block by bad intentions. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So they come to the end of the round in what has been an all-out action fight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a debate right here, and each guy is fighting to get the last word in. Bad intentions is doing really well on the outside. Teddy, he's having a field day. He's peppering him with shots from the outside. Well, when did we all of a sudden show up at a bull ring? Because I'm watching a matador right now control that bull and not letting that bull get near where he can gore him. by bad intentions. <laughs> Covers up.
up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, with special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm gonna remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you are forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. A barrage of punches now. Bad Intentions is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. by bad intentions. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. There he is on the inside doing well. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. You can see blood coming from Eddie Chambers' nose. Blocks that belt line well. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by bad intentions. Boy, the judges are having an easy time with this because this is clean and effective punch that we're seeing out of him. Hey, Joe, remember when you were a kid, your mother or father bought you that painting by the numbers? Oh, I love that. And he's punching by the numbers. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. round comes to an end it is a round that was highly entertaining these guys really put forth quite an effort but they both have high engines they have motors that never stop going Oh, 
boy, look at this. Right from the get-go, they go after one another. They remind me of my 15-year-old son going to the dinner table. Now that's a showman right there, a pure showman. Eddie Chambers, his cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Eddie Chambers with a nice-looking counterpunch. And now he's putting his punches together. There he goes. Fast Eddie Chambers. His training regimen probably didn't include much work defensively because he has been a sitting target all night long. He's yeah, just not moving his head. And you know the problem when you try to block and you don't move your head, your opponent can put punches together and keep your defense with your handcuff. But when you move your head, you create an opening. So your opponent throws a punch, he misses, he doesn't put them together. He's worried about something coming back. Right now, the opponent's not worried about anything coming back. Guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good combination landing there. Good looking counter punch. Bad intentions is is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Look and counter punch. Good return fire that time. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's gonna be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's gonna get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision that you just touched on has not been in their minds at all. Eddie Chambers with a nice looking counter punch. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Throwing more than one, both scored there. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round.
from both men. They each got a shot in. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Come to the end of the round. Always interesting to see how things will play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside and the buildup of what's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's always great having a little electricity in the crowd. You know, it helps. I know it helps me with the broadcast to know that you have these passionate fans that are around. Place right hands from both men. Oh, good exchange there. Chambers blocks it. Blocks the headshot. The jab once again an effective tool. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot it. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Eddie Chambers has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Eddie Chambers is mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. Now the tide has turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Good things are happening. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Blocked by bad intentions. Fast Eddie Chambers is able to avoid that punch. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Nice strike 
after catching one by Eddie Chambers. Good counter punch. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle, it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go. Able to cover up that gut. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Boy, he's frustrating his opponent here. He's hurt, he's damaged, and he's got him just chasing him around the ring. And maybe he might get an opportunity, believe it or not, as hurt as he's been, to maybe catch his opponent getting a little reckless walking in. Chambers blocks it. Oh, that's good stuff. Fires right back with one of his own. Good work by Eddie Chambers. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. So it's the end of the round. And as both men head back to their respective corners, Teddy, it uh, brings up a good point that's many times not talked enough, but the culture of a corner and how guys conduct themselves, what was always your philosophy in organizing and running a corner? Well, first of all, only one guy could be in charge. That's the trainer. You can't have uh, too many cooks in the kitchen. It has to be organized like anything else. And you have to have calm people. You only have one minute. Maybe by the time the fighter gets back, maybe it's 50 seconds. So you have to be efficient. You can't have guys that are excited. They have to be able to control their emotions just like the fighter does on the outside. And everyone has to know what their job is. Wow, is he defensively sound. to return the sender with the left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Eddie Chambers. Able to dismiss that body shot. Gets rid of that body shot. Solid counter punch by bad intentions. Eddie Chambers with a nice looking counter punch. We got an interesting fight here. It looks like one man is seemingly in control, but the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. May need to hit that jackpot though. Well, he probably does need that knockout. So right now he has to adjust his game plan. He's thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot. Maybe when he's pulling out. Back and forth exchange. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. <laughs>
to know, Teddy, it just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. there with the block. Blocks that punch. Chambers able to land the counter punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moment. Wow! Down he goes. He went down. if he's able to continue after that knockdown. I don't even know how he got up after that. Chambers able to land the counter punch. And from long range, he's able to get his target he wanted. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he guys. did. Come on now. Come Go on, back come on. straight. Oh, and there you go. He is damaged badly no there. Holding. He may hit the floor. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the no wherewithal to here. hold on. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Holy cow. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to guys. know what come to do now. now. Come on. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. Bad intentions is doing... Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague late goings here of this round and he goes down can he survive it To beat the count, it'll go down as a knockout, Teddy. Perfectly timed punch. For the official particulars, let's send it up to the ring. He's your winner by knockout. Everybody but his opponent is happy now. That was an entertaining fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We'll see you next time ringside.